as a founder you have limited time and energy you cannot do everything and you cannot be everywhere at all times therefore to make things scalable you need a process and a system that helps you scale effectively and allows you to execute different functions of your company with uniformity if you want your app to scale gracefully with more users and with more features you need to build a design system for your product this design system is going to help you design better solutions launch features on time and maintain consistency throughout the app so what exactly is a design system and how do you build it from scratch there are many components to it but in the beginning we will keep things very simple let's just assume that i want to make an app that allows me to sell my video courses i would have many ideas for the features and the login screen and the home page but before i start designing screens i have to build a certain set of foundational components these foundational components will be the base of my application this does not include the screens but i have to declare them in my figma files before i design even my first screen now as an entrepreneur and startup founder you don't have to declare them yourselves but you need to be mindful about this foundational step here are six things that your designer has to declare before you start designing any screens first is your color palette within your color palette you have neutral colors your brand colors and your semantic colors don't worry i will tell you where your designer can go through this in detail but this is just a list for your reference second is going to be your typography how text looks on your application third is your iconography and you can get open source free icon packs from the internet there are two recommendations one is box icons the other is remix icons i will put the link in description you can easily use these icons in your applications so you will save a lot of time in designing all these icons from scratch fourth are your buttons again i will give you the right resources videos and articles that will help your design team to build a proper button system fifth are your input field drop downs check boxes all the minor input fields that you you need across the app and last are your shadows you need around four or five shadows and you keep using those same set of shadows everywhere else now just by listening you would be getting a slight understanding of what are these components for because your buttons your input fields your shadows and your colors these are things that are universally applied throughout the app so it's not just that your first screen is going to use your color palette every screen in your software is going to inherit the same colors from this foundational system that you declare Now if you have hired a junior designer just let them know that these are the main six things that they have to declare properly to get some reference I will be sharing some resources and some articles but they can always check out a couple of videos on my YouTube channel as well they are freely available in both Hindi and in English so there's a 15 episode course on the foundations of UX design I know I am promoting my own course here but trust me these 15 videos will really help them get a good foundational understanding of how to declare these six basic components before you start designing your first screen now to give you and your designers some inspiration and references here are some resources that can give you a very close look into design systems of some really good companies first one is designsystemsrepo.com this website has a gallery of really really interesting design systems systems that are functional you will find a list of design systems that are being developed by really big companies so you will see the logic behind them you will see all the different kinds of components and rules and guidelines that they have created to develop and ship a successful software on the same website you will find an articles column on the top just click on that and and try to go through some of these articles you don't have to read them in detail but i would recommend you to suggest your designers to pick some of these articles so if you're facing a specific problem you can check if these articles have any of those topics second recommendation is component.gallery so in the previous resource we were going through design system so you would have multiple design systems and then you would explore that entire system here you will learn component wise so for example if you are building your input fields this website will allow you to see how multiple systems have declared input fields 
They have a list of design systems as well, but on the top, if you click on components, it would give you a list of all the basic components that you need in a foundational design system. You can have a checklist of your own and figure out which components do we need and then go through all the different design systems, take inspiration and then make your own components after learning from them. Third is a wonderful curation of resources. It's called heydesign.systems. You will find a lot of articles, reading material, videos, everything in one single place. So you go to this website, you explore what it has to offer, you collect some resources and study them and of course document them in your Notion diary. Please spend a good amount of time taking references and inspiration from these design systems because what you make will be very very foundational. It becomes very difficult to add changes into this foundational system later on. So make sure you do thorough homework with all the systems that you're referencing. Now if you don't make a system in the beginning, you will spend a lot of time doing repetitive tasks and adding even small small changes would take you a lot of time because if you want to change one button you would have to change it individually in every screen but if you have a design system you make a change in one place and it would be reflected in every single screen of your product this is why we had specifically listed some requirements in the job description components variants styles and libraries these four things are absolutely necessary to build a design system a lot of early startups skip building a system and then they build on a lot of design debt in the longer run which becomes very difficult to tackle your system does not need to be perfect but at least have these six basic foundational components that i just mentioned also don't obsess over the system to an extent where you forget about the product itself what's important is that you ship the product you make life easier for you so don't make the system so complicated that the system itself becomes a liability for you. The system should help you design easily. The system should help you push features quickly and not the other way around. A lot of big companies also have work in progress systems because this process never ends. You will always be building your design system. So don't try to make it too perfect. Don't ignore it as well. Keep a balance in the middle. I hope this video gave you some clarity and resources on the process of making a design system. I will see you in the next video. This video is from our free course, UX Design for Entrepreneurs and Founders, that will give you the best tips, resources, and a step-by-step -step plan towards building a team and designing your first app. All videos are in both Hindi and English. You'll find the link to the full course in description.